Podcast here with Shane Talks Politics. We are cruising across Missouri. Uh, I know some of you have been following us already this morning, but um, we have just met some folks already coming across. They are wonderful, wonderful, loving parent uh, people. Um, had a chance to visit with some people off of the rest area, and uh, he just he saw me there taking pictures, and he came up and said, man, I just want to shake your hand and thank you for what you're doing. Uh, the people of Missouri uh, just all love what you're doing. And, um, he said they're lined up on overpasses all the way from here, which was a rest area just across the border coming into Missouri. He said they're lined up from here to Springfield on all the overpasses. That's we came all the way over from Springfield just to welcome you coming in. And if you look up ahead, there's a crane here. that's there for us or it's absolutely beautiful it's a good good way to start the trip start the journey patriotic people Uh, we're gonna let you cruise along with us a little bit we got behind when we stopped off we were just gonna make a fast pit stop and then get right back on the road but we couldn't people were just so loving and so wonderful and they just wanted to talk to us for a minute and tell us how much they appreciated us and tell us how, how thankful they were that we were doing this and so we just couldn't help it we, we felt bad running away we just had to stay there and, and get to know some of them for a moment and, uh, and oh yeah that's that's for us <laughs> There's here comes the overpass <clears throat> oh my goodness isn't that beautiful isn't that beautiful, old glory flying up there? All these people, can you see this? Can you see this? <clears throat> All the vehicles and people lined up along the side of the road. And over here on the overpass. Beautiful flag. Look at that thing up there. Look at all these people. <clears throat> I was thinking last night, we get asked, one thing we get asked a lot is, is you know, I don't, I don't know how to get involved. I don't know how to do anything. I don't know how to make any change. And um, I've, got, I've got an idea for you. Everybody knows somebody who's influential, even if you are not in an influential circle. You can be influential, and, and it's through the people that you already know. And imagine if you were sending an email to a to one of your politicians, one of your representatives that are supposed to represent you. And I don't know, we have representatives and we have politicians, right? I mean, we, we should just start dividing those into two categories. <clears throat> but you sending an email to them, they hear your voice. But what if you were to carbon copy anyone and everyone that you know who is a person of influence in your community and add that into the add that into the uh, to the email where that politician that you're sending an email to can see everybody else who you sent that to as well go ahead and list them off and name them and just say you know uh, so and so and so and so and so and so I uh, included you in this email to senator so and so because I thought you needed to know what it was that he's been up to as well as what I think about it and if everybody would start doing that and sending an email maybe maybe you're in a uh, church group or something and a bunch of you can just start getting together on a weekly basis and saying okay what kind of uh, what kind of messes are what kind of a mess has our um, uh, has our politicians been up to what kind of things have they been up to and what uh what do we need to to address this week and what if a bunch of you got together and you just started sitting down just once a week and start sending out those emails that's something everybody can do and make sure that you include all of your influential people so maybe if you had 20 or 30 of you getting together but maybe your reach each one of you knows five influential influential people well you're sending an email to a senator along with 
25, you know, that you're, that 25 of you is now sending it out to 125 people and that senator sees that. So that's something you can do that's very easy. Um, I will tell you it's important that when you send an email out that you don't just make a blanket email that all of you sign and agree to. But you can sit down and say, okay, what topics are we going to address when we send this email? Be respectful. That's one of the most important things I can tell you is be respectful because you want them to actually read it. They're going to dismiss you as a, as a radical if you're not respectful. But be firm. Be direct. You don't have to beat around the bush. Be firm, be direct, and let them know what you think. Now, there are some other people in your church who are more eloquent of speaking. Maybe they can uh, get on the telephone and start calling these senators and these uh, these representatives and let them know, hey, look, I don't agree with this uh, this email. I, or, I mean, I don't agree with this bill. I don't agree with how you voted on this bill. And then say why. So the best way you can open up an email is... Uh, as, uh, I noticed that last week uh, you voted on bill number blah 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 and on the surface may seem like a good bill when you read into it this is how it affects our liberty and your job is to protect our liberty not take it away not a that bill so and so is expanding government and supposed to be they're representing us to expand government. You're supposed to be supporting a limited government, and we disagree with it for re these reasons. Or keep an eye on emails are coming around. You do not know how important those letters are. I, I have talked to several representatives, and you hear the same thing. For every email they get, they assume that that represents 10 people, the thoughts of 10 more people. So it's really important that you, you send emails that you take, that you are awake in your community, that you see what your representatives are doing, that you're paying attention to it, not just checking the box of the R next to it, come time to vote. It's important that you are taking part in your government. Because, can you imagine working for a boss that does nothing? That says nothing? That never gives you an evaluation? These representatives work for you. We, the people, this is who they work for. We are their boss. Therefore, it is imperative that we that we stay on top of what they're doing and that we manage them. You need to be a good manager. You need to start taking part in this country that we, the people, own. You own your small percentage your whatever, however many millions of people we have in America now, you own your percentage of that. And so your local government, you hired them, you voted for them, maybe you didn't, whether you voted for them or not, okay, you're still their manager. So manage them. What they're doing, send those emails out to them. When they come to town, Listen to them. And hardly anybody shows up. Show up for the interview. Find out if you really want to hire these folks or not. And it's in your community. And it starts at the state level. It starts at your local government. It's hard to affect change up in Washington, D.C. They are so corrupt right now by just simply talking to those guys. But your local government, in your local town, your local city government, you can make, uh, your voice has an impact, has a big impact. At the state level, your voice has a big impact. And it's so important that you protect your state level government. Again, you gotta get people in there that are gonna stand up against you, or stand up for you rather, that are gonna stand up for you. Sorry, I'm changing the camera around. I'm trying to do too many things at once. <laughs> I thought you needed to see that. <laughs> Folks in Missouri absolutely love their freedom. But it's so important that you get good people in this day and age at the state level and at your local level because that is your protection against a tyrannical federal government. If you don't shore up your state, if you can't take care of your own backyard, 
how in the world can you go out at the at the federal level and affect change there? And when they see themselves losing representative after representative after re representative from their liberal party to good constitution, freedom, liberty-minded individuals, then it sends a clear message up to the federal government. They want, hey, what, the, what do they want? They want power. They got people up there who want power. Well, send a message that if they want to maintain their power, that they better start voting alongside you. Use them, make, use their power-hungry greed against them. Make it to where even if they disagree with you, they still have to vote your way because they know that they're not going to be able to stay in office and maintain that level of power without you. Then, as you start swinging things that direction and people start waking up and saying, hey, man, our country's better when we vote this way, they'll start voting that way for their federal officials. So it starts at home. You've got, you've got to organize. Look at this. This started with just a few folks that said, hey, we're sick and tired of this. And uh, they were truckers. They didn't like what they were doing to truckers, so they started talking to a few people, and it spread. And they started putting the message out on social media, and it spread. And then we came out and started rolling across the highway, and that message got out, and it spread. And people saw that, that flame, and they wanted to become a part of it, and they wanted to join in. Well, they don't join in on a keyboard warrior. They join in on people who get off their butt and get out into the community and start becoming active and doing something about it. If you see a rally or a protest, take the time, show up. Numbers count, numbers matter. Two people out there screaming into the night doesn't have near of an impact. In fact, sometimes they even laugh at you as, uh, as it does when you show up with several hundred people. We, we have a community of about uh, 50, and that's not a clear message. So that's one thing I, I can encourage you to do is you just have to get involved. If it's just emails, that's great. But of the bigger rallies and protests, show up. Does it no good to sit at home and hope that something for you? You have to defend your own liberty. You have to defend. So far as we've said to the well, we've drawn a line on the.